Hello and welcome to mobile and wireless communication playlist. Can we derived Fry's free space equation? If you have not seen the derivation, please check the part one of this video. Now, as we know that the Fry's free space equation is given by this equation. Uh, now we will see the path loss model from this equation. That is the Fry's equation. We will derive path loss model from this equation. We know that the free space path loss is equal to transmitted power divided by received power which is also given by PT by PR which means transmitted power by received power or free space path loss is equal to PT by PR. Now from Fry's free space equation we can get PT by PR. We know that the PR uh, by PT from this equation PR by PT is equal to this term GT GR lambda square by 4 pi whole, uh, 4 pi d ka whole square but uh, free space path loss is equal to PT by PR uh, then we reciprocate this equation we write it as PT by PR and we reciprocate this term as well we write it as 4 pi d whole square by GTGR lambda square. Now we have to convert uh, the above equation in decibels. So taking tan log both sides, we get path loss in decibels is equal to tan log PT by PR is equal to tan log 4 pi d whole square by GTGR lambda square. Now we rearrange this equation we write it as path loss in decibels is equal to tan log PT by PR we write the minus sign we reciprocate uh, the last equation so that it resembles the Fry's free space equation and now we assume gains GTGR equal to 1 substituting GTGR equal to 1 in this equation we get path loss in decibels is equal to tan log PT by PR is equal to minus 10 log lambda square by 4 pi D whole square lambda by 4 pi whole square 4 pi D whole square as GTGR is equal to 1 or we can write path loss in decibels is equal to 10 log PT by PR is equal to we write it as minus 20 log lambda by 4 pi D this equation is known as Fry's free space path loss model. Now we have the, uh, some drawbacks of Fry's free space equation which are given as this model is valid predictor for d is not equal to zero. That means in the Fry's free space equation d should not be equal to zero. If d is equal to zero then this equation is not valid. This model assumes only a LOS signals, line of sight signals. In practice, uh, but in practice we have multiple path signals. This model is valid only if the receiver lies in the far field region. Now let's uh, discuss a uh, few things about far field uh, region, far field or Fraunhofer region. The far field or Fraunhofer region of a transmitting antenna may be defined as a region beyond far field distance DF which is related to the largest linear dimension of a transmitter antenna aperture and carry length as TF is equal to 2D square by lambda where D is the largest physical linear dimension D is the largest physical linear dimension of the antenna to be in far field region the far field distance DF must satisfy TF should be much greater than the physical linear dimension d of an antenna and df should be greater much greater than the wavelength lambda we usually choose a close in distance d0 as uh, known received power reference point the reference distance must be chosen such that it lies in the far field region that is d0 should be greater or equal to df hence the received power in free space at distance greater than d0 is the um, received power PR is given by PR D0 D0 upon D whole square where D should be greater or equal to D0 greater or equal to DF 
Now this equation is expressed in dBm or dBw by taking log both sides and multiplying by 10. We get Pr dBm is equal to 10 log Pr d0 by 0 0.001 watts plus 20 log d0 by d where d is should be greater or equal to d0 greater or equal to df where Pr d0 is in watts. The reference distance D0 for practical systems using low gain antenna in 1 to 2 gigahertz region is typically to be 1 meter in indoors and 100 meter to 1 kilometer in outdoors. That's all for today's lecture. I hope you enjoyed the lecture. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.